I came in today hoping this part was gonna show up because it was a few days late. And as I get here, the FedEx truck rolls up with the box. I knew exactly what it was. I'm a simple man. I like simple interiors with slight upgrades throughout. The steering wheel on the 370 is disgusting. It's been through multiple owners, been through a crash. There's a front airbag replacement that you guys have informed me is not even from the Z. And I thought about just doing an aftermarket replaceable steering wheel, but I've came across these guys from Carbon Steer who do really, really good stock steering wheel replacements. And normally they do it in carbon. But to be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of full carbon steering wheels. So I asked them, hey, do you guys have any other options? Maybe like a full Alcantara wrapped steering wheel that is the same shape as the 370? And they said, you know what? We can absolutely do that for you. Christmas morning. Oh yeah. So it's a 370Z steering wheel with a few extra aggressive hand placements. So it gets a little bit more grip. I don't think that will bother me while drifting. It, it might just because we're grabbing all over the wheel, but it also might be kind of cool. But I've always seen these on the internet and I've seen them on Instagram and I've always been super curious and I finally pulled the trigger on it. So shout out to Carbon Steer. These guys doctored this thing up and within a week or so custom built it and sent it out to us to throw in the Z today. So that's what we're gonna do. I don't know, Tej, you don't look like a fool to me, but you know, what we're doing today. Did you do you already intro? I already told them, bro. You already told You're them. Sleeping. You were on the pod. I'm you were emptying out your bowels. I'm here. I look at this wheel. It's bigger than my head. As you know, TJ's gonna drift this car. When we are on track, we are gonna disconnect the airbag. Oh yeah, I'm gonna yeah, the bag will be disconnected. Okay? On the street, it will be connected. You see, you in an, in a racing incident, you don't want an airbag. Cause that'll Mick, get your toes out of my <laughs> In a racing incident, you do not want an airbag smacking you in the mouth on track. That is dangerous. TJ's just getting amongst it already. Dude, I'm excited for this. TJ and I talk about this a lot, what our favorite mods are. Steering wheels are one of TJ's favorite memes. It's a nice wheel. I don't like my interiors, my interiors to be too like aftermarket. I like a little subtle touch here or there, but I like to keep it, keep it clean. This is clean. I'm not a fan of like the big like carbon fiber looking wheels. Mm. That ain't that ain't it for me. But a good little Alcantara wheel. Is this a is this a modified BMW wheel? Because BMWs no. have this sort of like kind of silhouette. It's really nice. No, it's really aggressive. So I don't know if it will be like annoying on track. We'll find out. If it like bothers me. If you can't send the in it, Teach, we'll see what happens. Yeah, so the airbag, the battery's disconnected. So I'm yeah, not disconnect a, the battery. I'm not Step get a one. Kablamo to the face or anything like that. Or Kablamo me. Oh, no. oh, don't lose it, bud. So, stocky. Oh, we gotta transfer all this plastics and stuff. Look at all this wear and tear on this ugly, stinky. Wheel. Now we got a new one, finished swapping over all the plastics. Just gonna compile it all back together and reinstall it. Ishi. I've been informed by everyone that this airbag is wrong. The airbag that comes in this car has a Z on it. It's not this one. So shout out to all you guys for uh, spilling the truth in the comments. You want an extra hand or you want to be solo? I need to sit in the seat. You want a drum solo? I'm solo, but. Simple install, baby. Battery so disconnected. Would you be so kind to reconnect the battery, sir? I got you, babe. Thanks, what? Dad. All right. Well, that is awesome. Steering wheel is definitely thicker than the last one was, uh, but it feels just a lot nicer. Looks a ton nicer, and it's gonna give us a little more grip on the wheel. Just an overall great product. Shout out to Carbon Steer. I'm gonna link all their stuff down below. Go check them out. They made this relatively quick too, which was awesome. Hell yeah, boys! And we got that red theme going on with the rest of the car. All right, with that done, super easy. I want to go ahead and plumb all the lines and stuff for the hydro because all of our lines are in, and we still haven't plumbed it. So let's look over the kit that Chris Forsberg sent down for us. I don't know what I'm looking at, Teach. Tell right. me exactly what you I'm do. looking at. No, no do. I don't. So we have I two don't. lines. Okay. So we have two calipers on both of the rear wheels, right? So we have two lines that are gonna come from both of the rear hubs, then they're gonna join together, and I had the T on the wrong side. And then they're gonna T up together, and then they're gonna go out to one little spout, which will be this, and that spout will connect to our hydro up front. There is a fitting that is waiting to be plugged. Um, and then once we have everything ran together, we'll probably just find, we'll probably just run it underneath the trans tunnel, probably near where the e-brake lines are. We've done it before. And then once that is done, we'll just put in our brake fluid and we'll bleed it. And we have all the, the necessary components here. We have our elbows for both the rear calipers. We have a banjo bolt um, and we have our teeth. Put the car up and do it. 
So here's how it's gonna work. Here is the second copper that we've added and I have a 90 degree banjo fitting. So I'm gonna throw that in and pretty much match it how it looks like on our original one that we have from our ISR kit. Then, and none of this is tight now by the way, this is all for demonstrative purposes. So the fitting will go straight onto here and here is the e-brake setup. So we're pretty much gonna follow these lines all the way to the shifter boot where our hydro is located. So I'm gonna run this through, I'm gonna get some zip ties and run these lines together because if these lines are in the way and they're not hitting anything, odds are that our new line won't either. Either. So we're staying clear of all the moving suspension components and we're staying clear of the axles. This follows all the way up, it's super easy, and it will meet up here underneath the shifter linkage. So before I route the lines on the hydro, I'm figuring out where I'm gonna hide the line. So this line will connect right here at the top and then we have to thread it underneath the car. So you can either go through the shifter, which goes right to the drive shaft, which goes up right to our T, or what I was thinking about doing is I'm just gonna delete this whole entire e-brake assembly. We already disconnected it down below. We decided not to run it. But right now this is do this is doing absolutely nothing. With the way that we have to position our line it actually to sit flat has to lay already running towards the e-brake so originally i was thinking about just bending it and throwing it into the shifter uh, mickey convinced me to take a few extra steps and i agree it'll make it look a lot cleaner i'm gonna run it towards the e-brake and i'm gonna slip it through the slit on the center console and run it underneath the car we won't really be cutting anything at least we won't be cutting anything that's visible to the eye while the center console is in the car oh that's full of disgusting grease. So now with that gone, you can see there's like a slit right here that is holding in the stock cable for the e-brake. I'm gonna move that from underneath the car, but this now gives us the perfect slot to drop in our cable. And when we mount this back up to the hydro and cover it, it's gonna go through and look like it was meant to be that way. All right, I've ditched everything. All the stock e-brake stuff is off. Both the limes are ran. Those are not fun to get off. And so right now I'm actually just trying to figure out where I'm gonna route all this stuff. And I can actually use some of the stock e-brake line like holders. I kind of go in right there, I can do that on both sides. But what the next job that I'm gonna have to do is, is figure out where we're gonna tie up our T. So both these lines will meet here and they'll go up into that little corner slot up there. So we're gonna have to make sure that when it's done, none of this stuff interferes with the drive shaft. We don't want that touching at all. That'd so we gotta mean, figure out how to secure it. How bad, to, huh? That'd be a lay bad meme too. Yeah, it would be a lay bad meme too. I mean, I agree. Stop. You need a haircut. Dude, I had a dude, dude hit us up that was like, I'm a, I'm a mobile barber, I'll come down. Come here. I'm like thinking about scheduling My him. mom. Oh no, we're not, because we're gonna do the stream cut. I also wanna take this moment to give you guys a quick shout out of my love, because on the poll that we put up on Calvin's wheel from the video, I asked you guys to vote on the poll up in the corner to answer, is the wing better on a stock body, or is the wing better on a wide body? And you guys, as of right now, the video's been up for like 66. four minutes. 66% to 33%. You guys are choosing me, baby. Four minutes means nothing. But it like means it's probably really gonna nothing. be. New poll. You, I, Calvin I, I knew you. TJ? I knew you guys had my back. I'm not here. Yeah, you gonna do that again, Dad? Are you gonna do that again? Uh -oh. <laughs> yeah, you uh, did. See, there he is. Uh, Exposed. We gotta find the place to put the tea, Cal. I'll show you my tea. Nope. No, sir. Uh oh, did I lose it? Uh oh. Which side is this one? Before the. This is the left side. No, it's the other side. Before this video goes any farther, it just wouldn't be right. Whoa! If I didn't give a little salute to the boys. Are you serious right now? That's illegal. Contractually, uh, contractually obligated. That's it. That's it. The reason why Cal can't say it either. All I'll say is there's big news coming soon. Mmm, what it feels good. Hey, you know what's today? Sheepy and Hunko Kalo. Wait, is that tomorrow? I haven't announced that yet either. I have to bleep that. Wait, you said three days. It's been Oh, it's been two days. No, it's just not there yet, okay? Yeah? Can Hello? Yeah? I got I gotta take this. Alright, I'm gonna I'll 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 do it. I'll thread it by myself, dog. Alright, our underneath look is Aww. passing with flying colors. Lines on both sides, run all the way through. We ended up going above the subframe, around all the arms. They meet up using the OEM little like brackets for the e-brake lines. And then they don't really have that clear of a shot, but 
if you can kind of see right there, we have that T, it keeps jumping in and out of focus. The bracket that holds the e-brake lines, uh, Calvin was actually able to get his hands up there and after tightening down all the fittings, was able to zip tie the T right where the bracket was and then it feeds right back in to the underside and we were able even to keep the little plastic cap that held in the line. So underneath looks good, now let's go up in the car and see how it looks. Oh shit! Okay, what, <laughs> what was that? How do you, how do you miss? Okay, I go, I And go, you almost go just car. smashed our shifter boot. I, okay, thanks, Teach. I smell like I almost just died. <laughs> okay. okay, keep in mind, we're like two feet off the ground. Okay, what happened was I went to go in and I had my foot here. I went to slide and my foot just went yeet. But I caught myself. Cal, you installed this backwards, bro. It's not backwards, bro. Bro, I You're took it dumb. out. It doesn't clip in, though. What are you on about? Bro, this goes the other way, dude. You see, you see, when TJ complains like this, he's making it dramatic to tell a story. Here's what's wrong with his story. Weird. Oof, thank gosh. Are you dumb? Look. What do you mean, are you, am I dumb? Look. Okay, clip it in. Clip it in. Go. All right, it's in. Are you serious? That's in. Well, it, was ne it wasn't like glued. It's just plastic clips. No, there's no... Th from this, this tab to this tab is longer than the hole. No. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Weird. Hmm. Oh, why? No, that's how it came. Look, it's in. This is it, baby. This is the cool part. Is it that cool or is it not that cool? No, it's rad because I feel like it's not that cool. It's super cool. Oh my My monster is back there. If you just helped me dab This is a one-man job. It's I not can, here. Hold just this. there you go. No, I gotta I don't know what you're doing. We had some technical difficulties there, but we got it figured out. So with this now, with the center console fitted in here with the e-brake deleted, our line goes right through that and goes right to the bottom and there's just enough line to get that secured. That was too close, Teach. That was a close call, dude. This setup is sick because it is so low key. Huge. Shouts. Like, dude, this interior just came together huge Horseburg, today. Dog. Shout out to my boy, CF, little Chris, for, for his garbate. What? He's your boy, he hosed you. He's my brother, dog. He's gonna, he's gonna see this. Uh, Chris, I want you to repost what you posted because I thought it was hilarious. You know what I'm talking Oh, where he was like, TJ's on the computer, not even hanging out. I was on a I was on a live panel thing. I was like, Chris, I have to, you know what? I don't need to explain myself. Explain yourself. Chris did dog me. I do remember that. I was like, damn, how you gonna play me like that? But he did do most of the work though. You know when you go to like a, a shop that isn't yours, you don't know where anything is, you don't know where any of the tools are, and like everyone around you just starts buzzing and installing stuff for you, and they're- Oh, I see what you're saying. Chris was just getting amongst it. TJ's like, and I was like, I have to take this call in 30 minutes. I only take me 30 minutes, and they're like, well, we're just gonna do it, because because you're, G G you know what, I don't even explain myself. You're just mad because they voted for my car over your car with the wing. It's been four minutes. Shall we like, check? Let's check. Let's check it right now. You're mm -hmm. gonna get played. Real time. You're gonna get played. Real. Oh. You're honestly gonna get played. You no. really think you're gonna win? I don't know. I don't know. I know my boys won't let me down like that, though. I know my boys won't let me down like that. Come on, bro. If you can just, Here we go. If you just pull it up. Whoa! Results are stock body 35%, wide body 64%. How long has it been? It's been up for I'm check tomorrow. over an hour now. Shout out to you boys. They, they got my back. Dog. Dog. You be calling me a chacharoach and all this, but they got my back. Benedict for 2020. Tiger King for 2020. I will never financially recover from this. It's my favorite quote. That's the Carol best. Baskin, 2020. Killed her husband, whacked him, what? Can't tell me it didn't happen. What? So that looks really good. Really, really happy with how that came out. The line went perfect. And our e-brake handle, what we thought, everything. Super spicy. The steering wheel looking really good. Calvin and I are gonna bleed this hydro setup, which is super simple. We're just gonna use some brake fluid, obviously. Calvin's gonna man the uh, brake lines and we're gonna pump. Be very careful. Not to spill in the car. Burping up. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you actually hand me a paper towel down there? Because when it does burp, it's gonna come out my face. And go everywhere. That's you what say, she said. The spill everywhere. Oh, it feels so good. Getting it primed. All right, this is last one. I'm holding Calvin's about to open up. Watch how much my hand sinks in. Whoa, a boy. And we're just about done. Okay, I'm letting go. So, yeah, no, dude, she's great. That's epic. That's really good. So we have, a, I'm just gonna add a little bit of fluid in here and we'll be done. 
by testing it by letting the wheels spin a little bit. Because we can't drive because we have no alignment, so the car's bridge here anyway. Well, we're just gonna make sure it works. Spinning? Yeah. Ready, e brake. It slams. It works. It's been a few days since I've been back on the bike because my arms are like just starting now to like kind of be a little bit better and my hand isn't as swollen and it's so a little painful but I've been riding here then. But before we go back to the house, I like ran out really quick with the bike. Want to get a, at least an hour of riding in today. Back at the local berm track, just gonna do some laps, get a little feel for it and uh, maybe this exercise, walking up this hill from all the way to the bottom is brutal. So I enjoyed the exercise nonetheless. Let's get, let's get a few clips. Trying to like get a little bit lower to hold more speed down these and not be sitting at all. Some of them are just so tight, I can't really do it. But over the last week, I've gotten a lot quicker through them. So definitely seeing a lot of progress. That one's really tight. This is like the tightest drop in. There's a family just sitting on the bottom half of the trail that's getting really annoying. I don't wanna tell them to leave because that's just not nice, but they're literally just standing in the middle with their kids just blocking up the whole second of the trail. And when I come down and stop, they just like stare at me like, oh, am I not supposed to be here? Hopefully when we go down this again, they're not just standing there, but I have to keep an extra eye out. Uh, I was leaning a little too far, a little too in. These are tough because on camera, I don't really know how well you can see it, but these berms are really, really tight and small. And I feel like on my, my bike, it's just tough. Not that that's an excuse, but it's definitely a big bike to wheel around. I'm on a medium frame with 29s. My last bike was 27.5, which I kind of liked more, but I'm still getting used to the 29s. I feel like I need to make the announcement that I finally got a helmet, a Troy Lee A2. So for everyone who was yelling at me to get a helmet, I have a helmet. And now I'm realizing that I really need gloves because my hands hurt every time I smack a bush when I go by. And every time I fall on the ground, I just cut my hand open one more time and I am so over that. Okay, now that that speech is done, Well, that's it for this video. I just finished editing it. Kevin said he's gonna get a mountain bike and he's gonna come with me next time. I realize, and, I, and I'm aware of this, the GoPro does not show like any definition of what the trail really looks like. 
it doesn't so like it doesn't look like i'm going anything and those little like baby jumps that i'm going over they're bigger in person but they're obviously not like large but i enjoy it so much so i hope you guys do too you're standing on the couch with your shoes on you're standing on the couch with your shoes on what did your mother teach you what were you taught as a kid obviously not manners that's for damn sure so i will see you guys in the next video thank you so much for watching and um peace out keep no. moving no bye bye, bye. Bye bye everybody. Yeah, okay. That's it. That's the end of the all video. Right, you, can't, right. you can't. Okay. You can't. Right. You gotta leave My now. You can't. You can't. You can't.